Today we are talking about rest. In Mark 2 verses 27 through 28, Jesus is talking to the Pharisees. The Pharisees have just accused Jesus' disciples of doing something unlawful on the Sabbath. Then he told them, the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. So then the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. To remember the Sabbath is one of the Ten Commandments, which to me suggests it's very important. In other words, we need rest. God knew this. In Genesis, after God created the heavens and the earth, even he rests on the seventh day. He's setting an example for us. I know that when we do stop working, we tend to feel guilty. We feel lazy. We think that everyone will be judging us. It can feel even unnatural to stop work. So I think we need to find whatever works for us. We need to find an opportunity to rest and to remember God. And that probably means planning for it and putting it on our calendar. I believe to show honor to God during our sabbatical time means letting go of the usual worldly duties we perform, like putting our phones down, not getting on our computers, no hard labor. Instead, spend time with family, do something fun, go serve someone together. Take the focus off of ourselves and put it back on God. Remember, God is the one who gave us our time and we need to be thankful for that. Jesus tells us that he will give us rest if we follow him. If we take his yoke and learn from him, our burdens will be light. This can be used in our daily work, errands, chores, whatever it may, may be. The idea is to have Jesus in our thoughts and actions as we are out in the world and while we are building relationships, but also during our Sabbath when we are taking a break from work and hard labor. Anytime our focus is on God, we can find rest for our bodies and our souls. Think about what that might look like for you. I know for me, I definitely need to improve on this. I even take my phone in when I go to the Y and take my workout class and I'll check my phone in between each song, which is silly. I definitely don't need my phone in there. It's just a habit. And even this morning, I left my house without my phone and I was a couple minutes away from my house and I pretty much started to panic and just felt like I was missing something. But actually I was too lazy to go back and get it so I came on to work and, um, but of course I found a way to reach out to people. I got on my laptop and I, and I emailed my family and let them know. Um, and then my daughter was out later and I asked her to bring me my phone. So as soon as she handed it to me, I felt so much better, <laughs> which means I depend on that too much like most of us do. So how about today, let's all put something on our calendar to show when we will be resting in God. And I believe the more practice that we get doing this, the easier easier it will be for us to just stop.